You know, there's this concept that's been floating around for quite some time, and it's one of those ideas that sounds simple but can truly change your life if you let it. It's the idea of being proactive versus being reactive. Now, I know you've heard this before, but let's dig a little deeper, shall we? Because this isn't just about a catchy phrase, it's about how you navigate your entire existence. It's about how you tackle challenges, face your fears, and ultimately shape your destiny. So, let's break it down. Being proactive means you take ownership of your life and your circumstances. You're prepared to act. You're not just sitting back, waiting for the universe to throw you a bone. No, you're actively engaging with the world around you. You're anticipating problems before they arise, and you're ready to tackle them head on. It's about taking the initiative and making things happen rather than just letting things happen to you. On the flip side, we have being reactive. Reactive people are like leaves in the wind. They're tossed around by every circumstance and condition that comes their way. They're quick to blame others, to point fingers, and to wallow in self-pity. There's nothing I can do, they say. They make me so mad. Sound familiar? It's a mindset that keeps you stuck, trapped in a cycle of frustration and defeat. Reactive thinking is all about responding to events after they happen, often with a sense of helplessness. It's like trying to fix a leaky roof during a storm instead of taking the time to inspect and repair it beforehand. Now, let's think about this in practical terms. In your job, for instance, being proactive can mean the difference between success and failure. Imagine you're working on a project and you notice some potential pitfalls. A proactive person would dive in, address those issues, and come up with solutions before they become problems. They'd be the ones who not only meet deadlines, but exceed expectations. They'd be the ones who are seen as leaders, innovators, and go-getters. On the other hand, the reactive person will wait until the deadline looms, stress out, and then scramble to put out fires. They'll be the ones who deliver mediocre work and wonder why they're not getting promoted. And let's not limit this to the workplace. Think about your education. If you're proactive about your learning, you're seeking out knowledge, asking questions, and pushing yourself to grow. You're not just cramming for exams, you're genuinely engaging with the material. You're preparing for the future, and when new challenges arise, you're ready to tackle them. But if you're reactive, you'll find yourself overwhelmed, struggling to keep up, and blaming the system for your lack of success. The truth is, proactivity is powerful. It requires you to accept responsibility for your situation, no matter how dire. It's about taking the initiative to improve things. Successful leaders embrace proactiveness. They don't just do what's expected of them. They go above and beyond. They think, what if, instead of just accepting what is. They're constantly looking for ways to innovate, to improve, to make a difference. Let's talk about comfort with ambiguity. Proactive leaders learn to navigate uncertainty. They don't shy away from it. They embrace it. They know that life is unpredictable, and instead of panicking, they prepare themselves for whatever comes their way. They hope for the best but expect the worst. This mindset allows them to be more effective and skilled when life throws them curve balls. They're ready to pivot, to adapt, and to thrive while reactive individuals are left scrambling to catch up. Now, I want you to think about the last time you faced a challenge. How did you respond? Did you take control of the situation, or did you let it control you? Did you think proactively, or did you fall into that reactive trap? It's a crucial distinction, and it can make all the difference in your personal and professional life. Let's delve into some of those reactive phrases we often hear. There's nothing I can do. They won't allow that. If only I could. Each of these phrases is a red flag, signaling a reactive mindset. There are excuses that keep you from taking action. There are barriers that prevent you from moving forward. But here's the thing, you can change your narrative. You can replace those phrases with proactive alternatives. Instead of saying, there's nothing I can do, try, let's look at our alternatives. Instead of feeling trapped by the situation, remind yourself, I control how I respond to this. It's all about taking ownership. When you take ownership of your thoughts, your actions, and your circumstances, you empower yourself. You become the architect of your own life. You stop being a victim of circumstance and start being a creator of opportunity. And let's not forget the impact this has on your relationships. Proactive individuals foster healthier connections. They communicate openly, they take responsibility for their actions, and they seek to understand others. Reactive individuals, however, often find themselves in a cycle of conflict and misunderstanding. They react defensively, they blame others, and they create an environment of negativity. So, how do you cultivate a proactive mindset? It starts with self-awareness. You need to recognize when you're slipping into that reactive mode. Pay attention to your thoughts and language. Challenge yourself to reframe your mindset. Instead of seeing obstacles as insurmountable, view them as opportunities for growth. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, break challenges down into manageable steps. Another key aspect of productivity is setting clear goals. What do you want to achieve? What steps do you need to take to get there? By defining your objectives, you create a roadmap for success. You can anticipate potential roadblocks and devise strategies to overcome them. This level of preparation is what separates the proactive from the reactive. 
And let's not underestimate the power of resilience. Life will throw challenges your way, and it's how you respond that matters. Proactive individuals view setbacks as learning experiences. They bounce back stronger, more determined, and more equipped to handle whatever comes next. Reactive individuals, on the other hand, often get bogged down by failure. They dwell on what went wrong instead of focusing on what they can do differently next time. Now, I know this can feel overwhelming. It's easy to slip into that reactive mindset, especially when life gets tough. But the beauty of productivity is that it's a skill you can develop. It's not about being perfect. It's about making consistent efforts to take control of your life. It's about choosing to act rather than react. So, as you move forward, I challenge you to embrace this proactive mindset. Start small. Look for opportunities in your daily life where you can take ownership. Whether it's at work, in your studies, or in your relationships, ask yourself, how can I be more proactive here? Remember, it's a journey. You won't become a proactive powerhouse overnight. But with each step you take, you'll find yourself more empowered, more engaged, and more capable of shaping your own destiny. You'll find that the world is not something that happens to you, it's something you can actively participate in. You can create your own path, and in doing so, inspire others to do the same. So, let's choose productivity. Let's choose ownership. Let's choose to be the architects of our lives, crafting a future that reflects our values, our goals, and our aspirations. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about what happens to us, it's about how we respond to it. And that response can either keep us stuck in a cycle of reactivity, or propel us into a future filled with possibility and purpose. The choice is yours.